John Milne says the pain of losing a child is almost unbearable. <laughs> yeah. Tears of both joy and sadness. Um, he's still a very special part of me um, and always will be. Forever we'll be together. <laughs> but it's so hard. It's been so hard. Um, I, I don't know how to explain the, the loss, the whole. I would have loved to have taken that bullet because my life is nearly over. Living one moment at a time, slowly but surely, he's picking up the pieces and grieving the loss of his son. It's, it's, it's been healing because I've forgiven Brenton. Um, Without that forgiveness, I couldn't be the man I am now. Saeed Milne loved football and dreamed of becoming a goalkeeper for Manchester United. In his hands, John Milne cradles his son's beloved worn ball while wearing Saeed's goalkeeping gloves for the first time since he died. My boys dreamed to be an international <laughs> goalkeeper for Manchester United. And on this ball, this was given to Syed on his 14th, just after his 14th birthday. And people have written from all over the place on this one. Um, so special, so special. I mean, just imagine him kicking it all over the world. He tells me his son's prized footballs, signed by his friends and teammates, have become part of his legacy. He begins kicking the ball around in memory of his son. I'll remember him like this. <laughs> I just loved it. He just loved it. And look at it. You can tell how much he loved it. It's a very, very warm ball. It? <laughs> yep. It's still got more in it than the new one. Mr Milne has been helping with the March 15 National Remembrance Service, which will be held at North Hagley Park. He says the best way to show solidarity is to be there. Come from wherever. And that would mean a lot to you. Yep. That would be the best way to help us. Come from wherever. Um, Pack that, <laughs> that park. Pack the park and have fun, lots of fun, love and laughter. Although it's expected to be a mournful occasion, he wants it to also be a celebration of his son's life, as well as the 50 others who died on March 15. Where he is now, I can just see him kicking that football. <laughs> His dreams coming true, alive forever. Paradise. The National Remembrance Service will be held at 3 o'clock on Sunday, March the 15th. For Morning Report, Ko Elisha Phone, TNA.